welcome back to our channel well it's that time of year again so we're gonna start some seeds we do the two cup potting method and we do it for all of them tomatoes cucumbers peppers anything we start um, if you haven't already please hit our subscribe button help us out a little bit and we're gonna get started uh, as she was saying we do the two cup method um, well, how you do it is you take a drill bit. It doesn't matter what size. You don't want a great big one, but you don't want a real small one either. Uh, and what you do, and we well, normally start with five at a time. We take five cups, set them up just like this, and basically drill through all five cups. Just take your time with it. If not, you'll bust the cups up. See right there, I didn't bust anything. So anyway, right there, if you see that, the holes in the bottom of my cup, it's an, it should be an all five cup, just like that. What you want to do is kind of rake out the little shavings there a little bit. Of course, it really don't matter either way. All right. All right, these cups are ready. So we do get the seed starting mix is what we start all ours with. And that's what we're going to be using today. So we're going to fill up our cups. So what you want to do is fill your cups three-fourths of the way up and just take them and barely pat them down a little bit each cup and then you'll take you'll open your seeds these seeds I got from Walmart they're just the cheap two for a dollar fifty cent seeds so usually if I get the good ones I'll take and put like three in each cup but since they are the cheaper ones, I'm just going to use this whole pack and put them around until I run out of seeds. The reason why I'm using so many seeds in here is because, like I said, they are the cheap seeds from walmart and some of them will not come up but if a lot of them do you'll weed out the ones you want and keep the stronger ones of them and have them produce and then i'm going to take some more dirt just sprinkle around the tops of them. After you put the seeds in and you put a little more mix in it, you just want to damp the top of it. So we get a spray bottle just kind of damp it up a little bit. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do is take our other cup without our holes. And we tried to find marbles to put in it, but we couldn't. So we got these aquarium gems. We're gonna use them. And I'm gonna take about three and put in the bottom of the cup and then I'm going to take just a little bit of water so as you can see I got the stones in there and then I just put water up to the first ring of the cup and then you'll take and put this cup inside this cup and the cup will sink down because it'll water from the bottom to the top.
that's how we start our tomato plants, our peppers, our onions, our um, cucumbers, anything that we do. I know she was saying that this, the way that this works is like a self-wicking cup. If uh, you put your, your dirt or medium in the top and put your seeds, you damp it down, and then you drill your holes in the bottom. And what's going to happen is once these seeds starts to grow and your root system starts to take place, you'll have roots come out these holes right here. The roots will hang out of these holes and into the water. And, uh, I mean, they've they grown here for a long time, you know, because the root system, you'll have a big root ball down here in the bottom of your cup. Uh, we do I always use the 18-ounce cups. Uh, you can use the clear ones for the bottom. That way you can see how much water is in it. If you want to do that, if you could find them, we couldn't find any clear ones this year. So we just got two packs of the red ones, which is fine. Um, you don't want to overwater them or nothing like that. So anyway, um, we found these gems, like she was saying. We normally use marbles. These gems, they hold it up a little, but uh, marble will hold it up. You know, hold the cup up quite a bit so you have more water reservoir in the bottom. Is, is all that's for. It's just to keep that, that cup from touching the bottom. You have more water reservoir. That's everything it's for. And we always use seed starting mix. Uh, the brand we don't, we really don't care about as long as it's seed starting mix. It's like a lighter, lighter medium in there. It's got all kinds of stuff in, like perlite and all that crap. So, um, and as far as the water goes, you can use any water. Uh, we're just using this bottle of water because we had it sitting over here. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. It should take these things a week, two weeks to come up decent. Then that way we can weed through the ones, that, the weaker ones, and you know pull those out and keep the better plants and stuff like that. Because everybody knows that we grow in uh, was the wicking tubs, the wicking barrels, or whatever. That's what we're, we're going to get a bunch more of those up by this year. So we're going to go ahead and get these started for that. All right. We do have a mini greenhouse that we're going to start too. Yeah. When, whenever it quits freezing, whenever this cold snap breaks and we're out of the freezing mornings and stuff like that, we're going to set up. Her, she got a little, like a little tiny greenhouse that we're going to set on the porch to put all this crap in, you know, all these cups for seed starting to get all the seed started and stuff like that. But this is how we do it. Um, we'll set these to the side and then we'll do some cucumbers and we'll do peppers. Um, I've definitely got to do the peppers. Onions. Onions. Well, onions, we'll just sprinkle those in the barrels. In the, just in That's the how we did it last year, the and, onions and the carrots. Yep, and they grew just fine that way. So, anyway, but this is how we're going to do it. This, honestly, this is how we do it every year, is start them in cups, the two-cup method. That's what this is called, the two-cup method, simply because there's two cups. Um, and it's it's a really good way to do it. It's a really good way to grow your, you know, start your plants anyway, start your seeds. Um, we just got a, found a bunch of good seeds at Walmart, the cheap seeds, 50 cents a pack. And we figure we'll go ahead and just use all the seeds in five cups out of one pack. You know, you're normally just supposed to put, you know, one, two, or three seeds in each cup. But 90% of these probably won't grow anyway. So if we get one out of all the ones she just put in here to grow, we're doing good. Because, um, I mean, honestly, we've never really had that. Well, it ain't been that great. But, I mean, we've, we've always had a few come up right out of those packs. So even these right here, the... The cabbage plants right here. She has cabbage plants she's going to start. A um, couple other different things. Broccoli. Broccoli. Um, like I said, cucumbers. Because uh, we like making pickles and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, if you haven't done so yet, guys, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button, share, whatever you need to do. But uh, if anybody has any questions or anything, just shoot us an email or something. And we'll, if there's something we need to go over a little bit more, we'll, we'll try to explain it the best we can. But these are ready to set out now. Right. Thank you. Like and subscribe.